Now in order to find the equation of the tangent at the point P on the curve cos 2x plus cos 3y equals 1, what we need to do is essentially find the gradient when x is pi upon 6 and y is pi upon 9. We can do that just by substituting these two values into dy dx. So let's start there and we can say that therefore dy by dx is going to equal minus 2 then times the sine of 2x. So we've got sine of 2 times x which is pi upon 6 and that's divided by 3 times the sine of 3y. So we have 3 sine 3y, y being pi upon 9. All right. What happens here? Well I can see that what I've got on the top here is essentially pi over 3 because the 2 cancels out into the 6 and gives me a 3. So we've got the sine of pi upon 3 on the top and what I notice on the bottom here is again this 3 cancels into the 9, 3 into the 3 goes 1, 3 into the 9 goes 3. So we've again got the sine of pi upon 3. So you don't really need to work that out because those two are just going to simply cancel one another out. They're exactly the same. So you can say that goes into that once and that goes into that once. So what you're left with is dy by dx equals minus 2 thirds. So that's nice and simple. So to get the equation of the tangent, what I'm going to be essentially using is uh, the equation of a line, which you should know then is y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. It's the best version to use rather than y equals mx plus c. We've got our x1, y1, that's pi upon 6, pi upon 9. And we've got the gradient m as being minus 2 thirds. So that's the format that I'm going to use. So just tell the reader that therefore the equation of the tangent at P, just write this in here, equation of tangent at P is, and essentially it's going to be y minus y1, which is the pi over 9 then, equals m, the gradient, minus 2 thirds, times x minus x1, x1 being the pi upon 6. Now essentially that would be the equation of the tangent, but we're asked to express the equation of the tangent in the form ax plus by plus a constant, an integer actually, c times pi equals 0. a, b and c have got to be integers. So what I would do now is just expand this bracket first of all. So if we do that, we've got y minus pi over 9 on the left hand side. Expanding the bracket gives minus 2 thirds x or 2x over 3 and then plus 2 pi over 18. Now the 2 eighteenths here, that cancels to 1 ninth. And so I need to get rid of the fractions on the bottom. So the best thing I could do is to multiply through by 9. So if we multiply both sides of the equation by 9, we've got 9y here, minus pi equals, and then minus 2 thirds times 9, that comes out at minus 6x, and then we just got plus pi on the end here. So if I add 6x and subtract pi from both sides, we therefore have 6x plus 9y and then minus pi minus another pi is minus 2 pi and that equals 0. And we've got that now in the format that was requested. If we're asked to quote the values of a, b and c, then a would clearly be 6, b would be 9 and c would be the minus 2. Okay.